Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and most of y'all have seen this video of mine on the merry-go-round, and YouTube is making me, or they're, no, they're not making me, they're removing it because I used some copyright material that was evidently copyrighted on the music, and I'm actually slowing down the video so I can get all the information in there. Uh, this is a working model, and actually the horses go up and down. Uh, here's the whole thing. It's not very big. I think the inside circle is like 16 inches. I made the only thing I didn't make on the lasers is wooden box below. It's even got a wooden switch. It's got uh, five pieces of plastic, and it'll be coming up pretty quick. It's got five pieces, which are the hinges that I bought at a hobby shop. It's got five pieces of rubber, which are these O-rings that give the traction to the wheels as they're turning. The wheels are like a cam wheel to give you some lift. There's the chain, the roller bearings, and the shafts. There's eight pieces of steel, which are basically nuts and bolts and washers. And most of them are used on the motor. There's the chain and the sprocket. There's 40 pieces of brass that you can buy at a local, any Hobby Lobby type brass. There's 557 pieces of wood. I mean, like that's one piece of wood. So there's 615 pieces total. This took me about a year to design and several months to put together. Uh, the music on the back was actually laid out flat on the laser in the shape of, a, the wood was cut in the shape of a pentagon and then laid out flat and engraved. That's actually a working nut that uh, there's a shaft behind there, which you'll see in just a second. So the whole thing can lift off so I could get to this. Most of this is uh, eighth inch plywood. There's some MDF in it. Uh, MDF is you know stable so there you can see the cam wheel there you can see the actual real bearings going around on the chain and i left this back open intentionally so people could see what's going on it was a real fun project to make and uh you know i made this little chain uh, that was a little bit of a trick but you know arch the gate cut out all these fences, uh, made little wooden boxes for the other things, like there's a switch I've got my hand on. Uh, it was made on an epilogue laser, which I'm a big fan of. Uh, my distributor in Arlington, Texas, uh, Engraving Concepts, is the, is the epilogue rep here in Texas and other states. So I want to thank Epilogue for such a fine machine. My son and a friend, just happens to have the same name, did the editing. My son shot the video. So Epilogue Laser, Engraving Concepts, and woodgears.ca for in Canada to uh, make the gear or the program that does the gear. Anyway, I'm sorry for the poor quality and thank you for watching.